Firing. I think it's really important for um, other stakeholders in cricket helmet safety to see what we do here. So it's, it's one thing um, Missouri employees that are working on product development to be seeing how the testing is done. It's another thing having, um, whether it's coaches, retailers, administrators start, administrators start to understand um, just the risks around helmet safety and what we're doing to try and uh, mitigate those risks. And this testing is a big part of that. In fact, this is the test house that the ICC used to drive the new test standard. So it's very helpful and instead of us constantly having to deliver the message to the market as a cricket helmet manufacturer, to have other stakeholders delivering the message of safety is very beneficial. This is the new Vision Series helmet. Uh, what you can see is we've got a, a reinforced peak and a new grille with an eye line with a second bar. We have side locks at the side which gives a far more robust construction. And then we have the new stem guard uh, at the back uh, which helps disperse force on any impacts in that, in that, uh, in that region. Uh, Josh Peacock and I'm a UKCC Level 2 cricket coach at Eton Bray Cricket Club. I'm coaching kids between the ages of 6 and 14. so shocked at seeing the testing and the impact that these things can have. It's important to get the word out to everyone from elite to grassroots level players. I'd never altered the gap um, of the grill to the peak, so the ball passed easily through it without touching either the grill or the peak um, and would have hit me flush in the nose. You know, we saw Josh brought his helmet along, um, we put it onto the test rig and uh, it did not slow down the ball one bit. So whether that ball was hitting him at 80 mile an hour, 70 mile an hour, 60 mile an hour, it wouldn't have mattered. The helmet was not slowing down the ball when it hit uh, the gap between peak and grill. And he was quite shocked to see that. So certainly he now understands the risks around batting and he is going to clearly pass that information on to the people he knows and it's, it's very important for us to let other people pass on what they've seen rather than us always passing it on. I'm uh, Dr. James Jones and I'm a senior researcher for Progressive Sports Technologies. Um, I work on all sorts of products for all sorts of brands and uh, specifically with regard to this I help Missouri test their new cricket helmet designs in accordance to the British and international standards that have been developed over the past two years. The, the Vision Series helmet has gone through uh, a wide variety of tests here at uh, our test facility. Um, we have some projectile tests which fire a ball out of a compressed air cannon at the helmet in a variety of places, be it the uh, gap between the peak and the grill, the grill itself, um, both of those conditions at a rotated angle and also with the head rotated backwards to simulate a, a top edge off the bat. The uh, helmets have also undergone some impact attenuation tests where some drop tests have been conducted on the shell of the helmet to make sure that any ball impacts from the bowler or a top edge are sufficient enough to protect the wearer. Well, we've, we've obviously developed the stem guard. That's, um, that's a brand new product uh, which we brought to market. Um, I think um, we're pretty proud of the amount of time it's taken us. It was one of the objectives when we started to create an option for cricketers as quickly as possible and to have a product from concept through to, um, through to manufacture in less than a year is, uh, is 
I think, something to be proud of. Um, the next, well, we're talking to a number of the governing bodies around uh, protection at BATPAD, um, crowd protection, umpires protection, bowlers protection. Uh, there's a number of areas that have come to light with 2020 cricket because there's balls flying around at, uh, at a rate of knots and we need to look at who else is in the firing line and how we can protect them.